So yeah, you might be wondering, well, what are we doing then? <laughs> well, I'm going to be playing the game. I'm going to be showing off some of the gameplay elements that you're going to be coming across in RE3 Remake and kind of explaining it a bit, commentating over it a little bit, and uh, we're going to see what else kind of catches our eye, I guess. Um, besides that, we're just going to take a nice slow stroll through downtown Raccoon City and uh, <laughs> take in the sights and sounds, and thankfully not the smell. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know a lot of you guys are excited about a RE3 demo, and in the meanwhile, as you know, a demo is coming, but while we're working on that, um, I really hope that this stream can help uh, provide at least a little bit of a nice filler and make the wait a little bit easier. So with that being said, let's go into the gameplay. All right. Nice. So currently we are at uh, Redstone Subway Station. Let's walk over here and pick up a couple supplies. So you're probably noticing there's these breakable boxes. If you've played RE7, I'm sure you've seen them. Um, kind of weird to put just a few bullets in a box, but hey, I guess I shouldn't judge. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is the knife. I'm sure you guys have noticed. It is, this time, it doesn't have any durability, so you can just stab away whatever, whatever you like. Oh, I am not. You guys have probably noticed that. I know you guys. I know RE fans. They always pick up on everything. I I'm not going to be showing what that is for. <laughs> Alright, let's... I think we got everything in here. So let's try to head out into the dangers. Going to mix up a couple of things. Make sure that I am ready. Gotta get that train moving. Oh, my first zombie. Can I dodge him? No, but that's okay because I got to show off uh, this ability now that exists in the game where if you get grabbed by a zombie, uh, you can mash the X button to kind of shake him off quicker and it'll also do less damage. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. So you can kind of do this to avoid zombies. You kind of dodge out of their general range, and you do this by pressing R1, and kind of, you can direct it in any direction you like as well. Oh, there you go, I got the dodge. I also got a perfect dodge right there. So, because the perfect dodge is really good because, um, Let's say that you're in a tricky situation, you'll get up much quicker. You'll be able to then decide, do you want to shoot immediately or do you just kind of want to run away? Oh! <laughs> nice. Well, he's not going to be getting up. All right. Let's move on here. Here's someone having a nice snack over there. Oh. So, this... Honestly, I really like this um, this mechanic where you can kind of shake zombies off when you get bit because that was always one of my first instincts when I played RE2 Remake is um, you kind of spam buttons as you get grabbed. So it's kind of good that something actually happens when you do that now. Well, let's take a look around Raccoon City. One of the things that struck me first was how amazing this game looks like. There's so much light. The game looks very vibrant. There's still, you know, it, this is one day. This is approximately one day before RE2 Remake. So obviously, September 28th, most of the power grids are still up, and you still had some semblance of a city. All right, let's go over here real quick. We'll talk, I'll show you guys more in a bit. 
Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> tall drink of water. Well... Well, I mean, Jill is highly flammable, so uh, there, there's no way we're going through there today. Okay? Okay, chat? Sorry. Speaking of that, let's take a look at Jill as well. Oh god, that, that thing gives me nightmares, by the way. That is nightmare fuel. <laughs> um, let's take a look at Jill. So, this is also something that really struck me the most when I played this uh, the first time when I kind of saw Jill. She looks amazing. She really does have that OG semblance of the original RE3 Jill, but obviously she's a bit redesigned. Her, her outfit is maybe a bit more practical for a situation where you would be, you know, <laughs> fighting for your, for your life and trying to escape from ravenous zombies. So uh, I, I do like her redesign a lot. I don't know, I'm trying to show you guys, but she also has her stars badge here. You can see it right there in the in the bottom left of her by her hip. So yeah, I, I love Jill's redesign. Oh! We got trouble! Oops. Well, good thing there is a conveniently placed barrel right next to these zombies <laughs> coming. <laughs> All right, we got rid of those guys. Let's check out. Uh, let's check out this uh, this con this supermarket. Umbrella noodles. Eight forty-five. I don't know about you guys, but that seems that seems kind of expensive to me. But anyone anyone want some umbrella noodles? I don't know, man. I don't know. And then, if you are uh, Resident Evil fans, I'm sure you'll recognize that beer that's on that's being advertised there. Actually, I thought that was Leon for a sec. He does look a lot like Leon, but I don't think it is. I, I think uh, Leon is very much focusing on his law enforcement career. Uh, tomato? That, that's nightmare fuel right there. <laughs> okay. If anyone's curious, by the way, this is being, because I see some people asking what system we're playing it on. This is being played on a PlayStation 4. Blue Mountain. Ah, that's really cool. So this was also something in the original RE3. Um, the Blue Mountain storehouse is the area that Jill comes out in the first first in the original RE3. It's where she meets Dario. So it's really cool to see this, you know, all these details. Like, if you really take a look around the environments, you can tell the dev team has paid so much attention to the rest of the RE, um, the RE universe. Gems, crabs? All right. I did not even notice you, lady. <laughs> Let's try to take her out first. I was I was busy looking at Jim's crabs. God, I shouldn't say that on stream. <laughs> Just trying to get through. Excuse me, fellas. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I, I can see that my practice has not uh paid off very well. I wanted to show you guys something else here. Hold on. I just need these guys to come down. Take this. Ah, oh, they're slow. Well, I mean, what do you expect? They're zombies, right? Dancing zombies! Yeah, so you have these generators you can shoot as well, which is very helpful. Very helpful. All right, let's let's leave them. Go in here to Moon's Donuts for just a second. Oh, you guys hear that?
I'm sure you guys recognize that if you've played the original RE2. Nice, very nice. Yeah, the environments honestly look gorgeous in this game. And as you can tell... Actually, let's, let's get back to that in a sec. Hold that thought, chat. Hold that thought. So this is something we do not have yet. We can't open this. But we can go in here! You guys hear this? Very nice. Save room theme. Free from fear. What do you guys think is in this box? Any guesses? Hmm? If anyone says Jill sandwich, I'm, I'm just ending the stream. <laughs> Alright. Any guesses? Oh my goodness. Wow. No, no demo. No, sorry. It's just a gem! But I'm not gonna tell you what that's for. Let's actually put it away. It doesn't take up some space. And I think there's a green herb in here as well. Nice. It, I definitely need it this time. <laughs> Gem sandwich. Good one. I, I saw that one. I saw that one, chat. Okay. Let's go out here for a sec to the other side. We got a fast one. <laughs> I'm taking so much damage today. I apologize. Alright, let's just get this heal out of the way. There we go. And then let me see if I can get some nice... Okay, that happened. That works. It's okay. There's a barrel right here. Come over here. Let's take him out. Nice and easy. Line up, line up. Oh, one of them is walking away! Where's he going? Alright, that's fine. So yeah, um, barrels. Your best friend in this game. There's, there's not too many of them, I promise. Alright, nice. Ah! Kite Bros Railway! Sorry, we're not gonna stop in there to- oh, goodness. We're not gonna stop in there today. Um, but I'm sure if you are an Ari fan, you recognize the name. Um, not gonna go there till April 3rd, unfortunately. So yeah, as, as I was trying to say earlier... Oh yeah, here's the pharmacy as well. Ooh! But, you can tell the door is open, but I'm, I'm not gonna go in there. I'm not gonna go in there. I'm trying to keep the element of surprise for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's tempting, but no. Oh, hey! Sleeping guy on the ground. I think we could just head up here now. Um, so yeah, w I, I know I haven't um, done a fantastic job of demonstrating it today, but the dodge here in the game, uh, some of the things you can do like mash off enemy grabs, y you can <laughs> You, you still take damage, but you shake them off much quicker and you end up taking a lot less damage than you could have. So, uh, and the barrels and the shootable objects, these things are all very necessary for the slightly more 
I want to say intense gameplay of RE3 Remake. Um, you know, RE2 maybe didn't need them. RE3 definitely will. Also, there's a guy here trying to be careful. I'm trying to see if I can, like, show the dodge a couple more times. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> It's all about timing. You have to, uh, the dodge, in order to execute the dodge, um, you have to wait till right as the enemy is about to attack you, like so. And then you press R1 and hold the directional button, like the left stick. So it's a very fine and precise uh, movement. And I'm sure there's so many speedrunners and other people out there who are just analyzing everything I'm trying to do and trying to break down the speedrun strats right now. <laughs> but... Alright. We, we're not gonna do the save today. Nope. We're gonna leave it alone. April 3rd, chat. April 3rd. Um... Oh yeah, I know what we can do next. I know what we can do next. So I think we got everything here. Uh, if I'm sure the headphone users that are listening to this right now can really appreciate the ambient sound, by the way. Uh, you can kind of hear gunshots in the distance and you can hear like the final struggles as the city is slowly dying. It's it's really creepy and uh, yeah, this, this game is definitely utilizing the RE engine to its fullest. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think we got some company here. Hungry. You uh, do your thing. Just snack away. Oh! <laughs> oh god, Jill! Mind your distance! So yeah, you can as you can see there's gonna be several little paths and alleyways you can take to get to places where we're right back um, where we started. Right back where we started, my toy uncle, Jim's crabs and the umbrella noodles and blue mountain storage. That kind of looks like the... Oh god, that uh, there's something really menacing about that. I don't know why. There's something really menacing about the head up there. I feel like something's gonna happen. Alright, let's play around with the zombies a bit more uh, before we end the stream. Like I said, this would be a very short stream. Um, I've gotten to show off some of the fundamental basics of the gameplay, at least. I just want to see if I can have something else interesting happen. There you go, I think he's down. Can we practice the dodge on you, Lady Zombie? That'd be nice. Not like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, there's another guy. There's a friend. There's a friend. Careful. getting lucky with the dodges today. Not that it has anything to do with luck. It has all to do with skill. I'm just clearly lacking it today. There we go. Alright. That's enough. That's enough. I I'm not feeling brave anymore. Uh, let's hide inside of Moon's Donuts because we all know that zombies do not like donuts for whatever reason. <laughs> but yeah, the dodge is really fun. Like I said, it gives you an opportunity to plan ahead as for what you're going to do 
Um, you know, will you shoot immediately and take out whatever's in front of you? Will you use it as an opportunity to get out of the tight spots and run? Um, yeah, the shootable objects are nice, just kind of something to help you along the way, but you will still very much need to watch your ammo and be very careful with ammo management, just like any other RE game. Uh, but yeah, trust me, you're, you're, you're gonna need this slightly more intense gameplay for what's ahead. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, let's... Let's let's drop uh, let let's leave Jill in here while I uh, have a quick talk. She she's not looking in too good shape. I just don't want her to be munched on by zombies any more than she already has. Poor Jill. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Like I said, a very very short stream. Um, I really want to make sure that I don't spoil the game for you guys. So there honestly, there's not too much more I can do. But I hope that you've at least learned a couple of things about the gameplay. Um, Someone said show death. Do we? Re do you really want to kill Jill? Do you guys actually want to kill Jill? I mean, I was gonna end it here, but yeah. Oh, I'm seeing a. Hu I'm sorry, but I am seeing a huge amount of yeses, more than noes. You guys are. You guys are uh, brutal. I, I guess we're going for the non-canon ending here, then, huh? All right. Oh, zombies. I bet they're not interested now. They're just like... <laughs> Wait, for how long can I do it? Oh god, where's the other guy? There he is. Oh ho ho! The final standoff. Alright, here you go, here you go. Eat me. Let's see it. Right into the loving embrace. Oh! That is brutal. That is brutal. Alright. There we go. You guys got your death? Hope you're happy with yourselves, chat. <laughs> Alright. Yo, thank you very much, everyone, for coming out to this very short stream. Um... Yeah, you guys are in for a treat on April 3rd, trust me. Uh, I'm really excited to see everyone's streams and videos and content for when RE3 Remake comes out on April 3rd. And of course, there's Resistance as well, so when you're done with RE3, you can have a lot of fun with Resident Evil Resistance as well. I know I'll be playing a lot. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Just a couple of qui uh, real quick things before we leave. Um, in the coming weeks, we will have a lot of information going on, so be sure to you know, leading up to launch, so be sure to follow the official Resident Evil channels for all the latest on Resident Evil 3 Remake. Um, yeah, and also don't forget to follow this Twitch channel, because this, this is where we will be doing the majority of the RE streams. Alright, thank you very much, I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a wonderful evening. Kat, signing out. Bye-bye! <laughs>